Hi folks, Gavin here again from G-Sport Cars. Uh, just wanted to show you William's excellent little Nissan Micra today. It uh, looks pretty much standard, a bit of a sleeper, but it has a, a little bit of surprise in there and it's a fairly well put together car. So uh, if you come on ahead with me, I'll show you around the car. So yeah, as, as I'm saying, uh, basically a Nissan Micra, the, the Eagle Eye viewers will probably probably have noticed something a little strange already uh, the fact that the rear wheels are now operating the dyno as opposed to the front so William uh, has done a brave bit of work in this car uh, William operates a family business there which is Heil Accident Repair Centre down in, in Bangor and uh, William's put this car together himself uh, he's done a, a fantastic job there everything uh, I mean, ever, the the build quality in it, everything's been done done really well. And William contacted me to see if we could get the the Link ECU set up and wired in, and uh, along with some other sort of tasty little gadgets. So I'll start off. I'll show you the the engine bay. Bear with me. Okay, so. We now have a Mazda MX-5 1.8 VVT engine, uh, nicely dropped in here, and in addition to that, there's also a turbo strapped onto the side there, which never hurts. Uh, so as I say, William has put this whole car together himself, uh, it's a really, really tidy install, everything's been done right, um, and as I say, he brought it in to me to get wired up so we have external wastegate down in here ECU controlled boost uh, obviously it's running the VVT which the the link ECU uh, William has a, a link monsoon ECU in here which is a great little ECU it's running everything there he's extended his brake servo here uh, works really well uh, custom breather setup all the usual sort of stuff um, the whole MX-5 subframe has all been put in, obviously which now allows rear wheel drive. He has a fuel cell in the boot because the, the diff and everything, the whole subframe takes place of where the, uh, pretty much where the fuel tank used to be. Uh, intercooled uh, turbo and aluminium radiator and so on. Um, so yeah, everything, uh, everything put together really well and I'll just give you another look at this car just so you can see. It does look like a factory MX-5. There's nothing really there to discern it from any other MX-5 in the road, apart from maybe one or two details which I'll not mention. Um, so if we go on inside here, we'll see. Again, there's been further work done done inside. We still have factory seats. There's uh, William has widened the the transmission tunnel there, or should I say? put a transmission tunnel in where there wasn't one before uh, the link ECU is in here it's hiding in under the dashboard there that's the software everything's connected up and again some of you may have seen my previous video on the Plex tuning uh, the micro USDM displays which is exactly what we have in here let me just try and focus that so really, really smart display from Plex. We have running on the link now. The engine's running a little bit hot there, just with a bit of heat soak and so on. So there's the idle just picked up now. So again, this is now the Plex display. And I want to show you guys just uh, when it's actually connected to an ECU. And it's just these two, well there are actually four wires in here. There's positive and negative. And then the two communication wires for the CAN bus. Uh, and that's all that this little unit requires to run and we have every oh, let's see in his hands here we have every parameter so you have RPM map let me just focus that again uh, RPM map uh, ECT IAT wideband uh, he's also running William's running a, an Innovit LC2 wideband in here uh, oil temperature which isn't actually hooked up but we do have oil pressure and fuel pressure in there somewhere as well 
uh, everything injector duty I mean absolutely everything you want to get cam position so you'll see inlet cam position here so that's that's doing its thing there uh, there we have our fuel pressure zero trigger error counters uh, knock we're not using that so again just various different displays uh, ignition angle manifold gauge pressure everything you want in there and this is a tidy little setup here this is actually a, a gear indicator so I'll just give you a quick I mean there's no fans or anything on the dyno so I'll just show you this gear indicator so obviously this is this can be turned to portrait mode so you have your RPM at the bottom and also filling up the screen you'll have RPM as well uh, and I think this doubles up as a shift light that will shift at you at a predetermined RPM point and I'll just quickly sort of drive on the dyno and we have first and the second and the third That's all set up through the, the ECU software there, um, and as I say, the Plex just takes the the readings directly from the ECU. So everything that the ECU sees, the Plex can see, uh, and then you have just normal trip functions and so on, and back to your normal RPM. As I say, in this, uh, you can go into the you can go into the software, the Plex tuning specific software and you can customize all these displays, all these displays that you can go through you can customize every single one um, and have it display exactly how you want and, and display what you want it to, dis to display um, so it's, it's really, you can do anything with that little display, it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant job um, just say here's our uh, PC link software so Obviously our fuel map there, and um, we have our gear ratios over here, which have just been set. Uh, these were set on the dyno, as was the the speed input for the, the ECU. Also, it was also set on the dyno um, using the the direct speed output from the dyno itself. Uh, so yeah, good good little setup there. Um, we have switchable boost function in this as well. Although it's not being being used at the minute, and there's another couple of wee tricks and toys that we may be able to implement in the future. But if you stay with me, I'll hopefully get a dyno run done here, and then I'll be able to show you the the end results of William's car on the dyno. Okay, uh, here we have the, the results of William's car, which has just been on the dyno there, just been tuned. Uh, pretty much everything did what it was told. No messing about, uh, usual couple of wee issues here and there, but not, nothing major. It's been fairly well put together from the start, so everything seemed to go, go nicely. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the final run here. This is our boost curve here, which is sitting just over half a bar. Uh, and our torque, our final figures are 236.4 horsepower and 202 foot-pounds of torque and that's that's at the flywheel and as you can see a nice big healthy torque curve here uh, in, in the blue so great great little result and it should really uh, should really be something a bit different on the road there especially I mean 230 plus horsepower in a rear wheel drive Nissan Micra isn't something you, you see every day but uh, really well put together car if you need any body work done anything like that I can strongly recommend 
uh, William down at Howell Accident Repair in Bangor. So it really seems to know what he's talking about. Uh, and uh, as I say, if you get down there, I think it's a family-run business, and the whole family are uh, have a, a few nice cars down there, and they really know what they're doing as well. And of course, if you need any engine management solutions, you also know where to go.